Uh, now this video I'm shooting before the official launch, so I'm not going to get a chance to take a look at the the UI or anything like that yet. Um, but I wanted to take you through and, and check out the hardware and such, um, and do a little size comparison to the other zooms and some other players. Um, the Zune itself is just, it's extremely well built. It's definitely a premium product. Um, you just don't feel any creaking. It's just a really solid device, just well put together. On the front here, you have a home button. This will take you back to um, the home screen in the software. Here's your power switch. Now, this will power on, but you just get a small small menu selection which you can't quite get into. Um, one interesting thing about the design here are these ridges. Now one of the things about these ridges is that it wasn't intentional um, to have accessories attached to this but a lot of the third-party accessory manufacturers noticed these ridges and they were really excited to create some attachments and some add-ons add for the Zune HD. So when you get into gaming and things like that, imagine you could have a controller or um, another battery will snap onto that. Um, possibilities are pretty much endless with that. Um, now here, it's just your basic home screen. Um, won't be able to get into much here. Um, since it is locked down until until you will see um, until the 4.0 software comes out um, but like I said there's a home button that takes you back to the home screen um, now this is not a volume rocker button like you would suspect um, but it's kind of a, a shortcut button which will launch this volume controls and track forward, track back, pause play The back is made out of a uh, brushed aluminum. You have plastic here for your Wi-Fi antenna, likely. Um, bottom, you have your port, typical to all the Zoom devices, and your headphone jack there. The screen is um, the screen's glass composite, and it's actually made by Corning. That's a Gorilla Gorilla Glass. Uh, this is showing up in a lot of portable media players recently. I know the Koan S9 has um, Corning's Gorilla Gra Glass on it. It's a very robust, very flexible, durable glass. Um, I guess you, just to give you some comparisons here, um, here's the Koan S9. do we have here? Um, Samsung P3. About the same size there. P3 might be just a touch thicker. Almost, almost identical to the P3. It's a little more bulk on the P3. Um, but then again, P3 is a nice solid player as well. Um, Here's actually the the new um, Creative Zen X5 2. Just got this in the mail. It's a lower lower end device. About seventy dollars less, I think, in some capacities. So just kind of in a different league, but to give you the size comparison there. Um, it's the old now old school old Zoom Flash player. Here's the 120. Considerably bigger there. And a Zoom 30. It's the limited edition magenta. And 
something maybe a little more in its league. Um, here's the Creative Z Egg, although this is quite a big device comparatively. Um, now with comes in the Zune HD package. Have your um, standard earbuds. Um, these were the same earbuds that came in the earlier Zunes, such as the Zune 80 um, and the Flash players. Um, and then of course you get the sync cables. Um, that's as far as it. As far as we can go for now until we can get the new software downloaded. Um, look for the review soon.